Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on ESIC Pharmacist Exam Preparation. Now in this series, I will explain ESIC 2019 Pharmacist Paper with answer explanation. See, in order to prepare for any examination, you need to analyze previous question papers. That's what I'm going to do it in this series. Every day, most probably at the evening 6 p.m., I will release a video which contains four to five questions with answer explanation. Follow them if you are appearing for this examination. Now look at the questions. Question number one. Philoquinone is an another name for options given are vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K. Now all these vitamins A, D, E, K are fat soluble vitamins. We have water soluble vitamins like B, B complex and vitamin C. Now vitamin A, D, E, K are common names. They have chemical names also. Vitamin A chemically known as retinol. Vitamin D chemically known as calciferol. Vitamin E chemically known as tocopherol. Understand these words. Retinol, calciferol, tocopherol, everything is ending with OL because all of them has got alcoholic functional group. According to IUPAC, OH group uh, is called as all. Now the last one vitamin K is known as philoquinone. It is a derivative of quinone, double bond O is there. So answer for this question is option 4 vitamin K. Now let us look into the next question. Now an amino acid considered as a lipotrophic factor is options given are methionine, tryptophan, histidine, serine. Now understand this one, lipotrophic factor means, lipo means lipid, trophic means which increases the utilization or lipotropic factor is a factor which prevents or reduces excessive accumulation of fat in the liver. So it, it is used, this factor is used to treat um, fatty liver disease, FLD it is called as. So excessive fat is dangerous to liver and to treat that, these factors are used. Now, what is that factor? Out of all these amino acids, methionine is a lipotropic factor. So, along with methionine, you have folic acid, B12, vitamin E, uh, lecithin, inositol, all of them are called as lipotropic factors. Now, look at them. <clears throat> methionine is a sulfur containing amino acid, which is a lipotropic factor. Tryptophan is an aromatic amino acid. Histidine, decarboxylation of histidine is what gives histamine. A chemical which is released during inflammation or injury. Serine again, sulfur containing amino acid. Now, let us move on to the next question. <clears throat> now, which of the following is a plant growth regulator? Options given are anabasine, zibarelin, kelin, zanticin. Now, see, anabasine is an alkaloid which is isolated from tobacco plants, nicotiana tobacco. In fact, it is an isomer of nicotine. Now, this is uh, industrially used as an insecticide. The question asked is about growth factor. This is not a growth factor. Next one, zipperelin. Zipperelin is a growth factor which causes cell elongation in the plant. So answer for the question is option two. Whereas kelin, kelin is, is, is again uh, an, a, a furanocoumarin. Kelin causes vasodilation, hence it is used to treat angina pectoris. It is also used to treat kidney stones and vitilago. White patches can be treated by kelin. The last one, gentacin, is a brand name for gentamicin. Gentamicin is an aminoglycoside. Aminoglycosides, which is a protein synthesis inhibitor. So this is the third question. Now the next question. Melanin is derived from which of the following amino acid? Again, amino acid based question. Options given are histidine, tyrosine, valine, tryptophan. Now see histidine, we have seen already. <laughs> Decarboxylation of histidine gives histamine. Understand the word. Histamine is only an amine. Histidine is an amino acid. To differentiate that, they have a name called as MI. Hista, histology means study of tissues. So from the tissues, a chemical amine releases that is called as histamine, right? But uh, melanin is not derived from histidine. Next one is tyrosine. Tyrosine is an important amino acid. Melanin is derived from tyrosine, not only melanin. From tyrosine, you get dopa, nor adrenaline, adrenaline, all of them are derived from tyrosine. Melanin also derived from tyrosine. Iodine hormones, triiodothyronine, thyroid hormones are also derived from tyrosine. So remember, tyrosine is an important one. Now, valine is a branched chain amino acid, tryptophan, aromatic amino acid. So these four questions are given in 2019 ESIC paper. So make a habit of reading like this. You take a question, know about each and every answer. So you will be covering at least four questions. I hope this is useful. All the best.